This is week 11 of vocabulary. These words are coming from the text, the bat boy, and his violin. The first word that we want to look at is the word inspire. Inspire means to make someone feel that he or she wants to do something and that they can do it. If we think back to the text, Papa was hoping that by making Reginald a bat boy, it would inspire him or make him want to become a baseball player. An example in real life, you can see here in the photograph, these people are trying to inspire others. A teacher is an example of real life inspiration. We work our very hardest to try to inspire students to earn good grades, to learn new information, and to be whatever they choose to be in life. When have you experienced something that inspired you? What did it inspire you to do? Think for a moment. If you have someone next to you, you can turn and talk. Again, you're thinking about what has inspired you. Sorry about that. You can hear the bell ringing. Here's an example. Watching TV or watching soccer on TV inspired me to want to play soccer. The next word that we want to look at is the word rickety. Reginald is traveling with the Dukes as a bat boy. So you might be wondering, well, what does that have to do with the word rickety? If something is rickety, it is in bad condition and likely to break. I know they described this, the bus that they were traveling on and it was very rickety. So the old bus that they were riding in was rickety, it could break. Um, here's another example <clears throat> using the word rickety. Take a look at the table. An old scratch table with a wiggly leg. Is this table rickety? You can use this sentence frame here. If you have someone next to you, you can turn and talk or think to yourself, the table is or is not rickety because. Okay, let's look at another example. A rotting fence that is leaning and has broken boards. You can use this sentence frame. The fence is or is not rickety because. You can turn and talk if you have someone next to you or think to yourself. Let's look at the last example. A new bridge made with enormous steel cables. The bridge is or is not rickety because. Okay. Let's look at the last word this week. That word is jittery. So from the text, we know that the Dukes were about to play in a very important game. So what does the word jittery mean? That you were worried and perhaps nervous. Worried and nervous are both synonyms for the word jittery, meaning that they have a very similar, the same meaning. The team members are too jittery or too worried and nervous to sleep, so Reginald plays his violin to help them relax. Can you think of a word that is an antonym for the word jittery or opposite? If you have someone next to you, you can turn and talk or think to yourself. Blank is a word that is an antonym of jittery. Excellent. How many of you thought of one of these words, calm or relaxed? Some people get jittery when they have to speak in front of a lot of people. I want you to think for a moment, what's something that makes you jittery? And what calms you down when you are jittery? Excellent. I know for me personally, this applies to me right here. I can speak in front of a group of children just fine, but throw me into an audience of adults and I get very jittery. Something that calms me down is taking deep breaths, and reassuring myself that everything will be okay. That wraps up day one. We'll see you back tomorrow for day two.